walk into the world you made. You lose yourself, but you you find your way. I'm gonna watch you ray, da, ray, da, ray, da, oh oh, ray, da. We turn so slow, I know it's it's hard to wait. Take your time, the sun is yours to take. I'm gonna watch you ray, da, ray, da, ray, da, oh oh, ray, da. Well, these rocks they hold heat. Pools of water cool your feet as you walk. You believe every part of the dream. About what you were just talking about, this song. I see you lost in what you create. All of time in this one single day, you take it and you ray, da, ray, da, ray, da, oh oh, ray, da. Follow. Your hands as they build, as they shape, as you follow your mind, as it rolls like a wave. You take it and you ray, da, ray, da, ray, da, oh oh, ray, da. With well, these rocks, they hold heat. Pools of water cool your feet as you walk. You believe. Every part of the dream. Thank you. Nine. He refers to himself as a goody two shoes. Is that right? Well, not that often. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll just check every bit along the way here. Jack's with us now. Jack Johnson uh, with us this morning. In fact, uh, the singer's an ardent environmentalist, gives profits from his ticket sales to local charities in the towns and cities in which he plays. As you've just seen, uh, Jack is with us now to talk about his new album. First, though, let's have a look at some of his work. Okay. With us now, you know what I said earlier that you just cannot be cross and listen to your music, Jack. It's so <laughs> relaxing and lovely. Um, tell us a bit about your life because you you started out pretty much as a surfer, didn't you? Yeah, in Hawaii. yeah. It's hard not to when you live in Hawaii. It's kind of people tend to learn to ride the bike and the surfboard around the same time when you're pretty young. And uh, yeah, I, w I ended up going off to school. I made some surf films. I was playing music all along as just kind of a hobby, something you know that when the waves weren't good or my friends and I would get together, we'd play some music, and mm -hmm. I started putting those in the background on the surf films and uh, kind of gained a little small crowd of people, any surf town I'd travel to, and it just kept expanding from there. Beneath this laid-back exterior, is there a kind of a, a businessman of steel? I'm just trying to picture the scene where, I don't know, when, when the record company first came to you and said, you know, we can see big things for you, Jack. Are you on board? And I, I'm, trying to th I'm trying to picture you sitting somewhere on the beach saying, well, you know, maybe. Well, I have to say, waking up at 4.45 in the morning to show up for a morning show is about as unlaid back as it gets. I mean, this is... It's a test. This is working pretty hard, you know. <laughs> I had to be up early. But is it, is it hard to keep that, you know, that, that sort of mellow lifestyle and I know your family's really important to you alongside a hard, you know, it's a, it's a business you're in. It's a commercial business. You yeah. Know? You know, I've been lucky. I'm, I'm in this little bubble. My wife and my best friend are my managers. I was... We were actually editing a surf film called September Sessions and I got this phone call. It was the first call I got. Somebody had heard this little four-track tape I'd made, and it was a producer in Hollywood, and they asked if I could come in for a meeting. And right as I was about to hang up, they said, do you want me to contact your manager, or will you let them know? And for some reason, I lied. I didn't have a manager. I was just a filmmaker at that point, barely making it. And I, I said, oh, I'll, I'll tell my manager. And then I hung up, and I said, I can't believe I just lied to that person. And I, so I told my friend there, I said, come with me to the meeting, pretend like you're my manager, because I said I had one. 
And so he showed up, and we were kicking each other under the table and stuff. And, <laughs> And then he went home and he got a book on how to be a music manager, and he's still my manager today. My there you go. You um, make it up as you go. So, anyways, they kind of keep me protected. I kind of deviated from your question, but no, that's that's a good uh, answer. It's nice because you know Kizzy, who's over here, she she's part of the management team. It's just a bunch of friends, and so I think they filter all the business type stuff that I don't want to hear. Um, and and you're on, you're on tour fun. at the moment. You've got three children who come on tours with you. Yeah, yeah, it's that's pretty wild. They don't they don't do too good with time zones, you know, like. You can't really explain when you fly straight from Hawaii to Germany and then they pop up at one o'clock in the morning and say, all right, let's, let's go. Let's like, No, 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 you got to lay back down. And a three-year-old's just like, no, I'm ready to. Will you continue wrong. doing that, do you think? Is that important to you that they are with you? Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, it's a really, it's a luxury to get to bring them. You know, I feel lucky. Yeah. I know I have a lot of friends that they don't get to travel with the family and a lot of the people on our crew come out and have to leave the family. I'm really lucky to bring them. But for me, it's uh, part of the decision to tour is really sightseeing with the family and getting to, to bring them along for the education. So, uh, Jack, I say ukulele, you say... Ukulele. <laughs> Which is the proper way of saying it, presumably, is proper it? Proper way, uh, ukulele, it's um, when the portrait... Say it again. Ukulele. Ukulele. The only thing that's different is just the U, U instead of a U. It's, it's ukulele. It's, it means uh, little jumping flea or bug. It's, uku is like a little bug in Hawaiian language, and lele is to jump or dance. So it's the sound of like a dancing flea. And when the Portuguese brought the guitars and the ukuleles to Hawaii, that was the name they gave it. I didn't know that. That's fascinating. Um, you're very loyal to your fans. I know this because I spoke to somebody <laughs> who was at your concert last night. And you take us through the scene. They give, somebody was giving you a present, yes, weren't they? These are, we're playing smaller venues this time around. We kind of felt that this, this album would be fun to present in theaters and things. And it, we were talking about how it's really nice not to have this barricade set up with security guards that you get at some of the big festivals and things. And so last night was interesting because people kept yelling, I got a gift, and it became this thing where people just kept bringing th things up to the stage. So this one guy said he had a gift. I said, all right, bring it up. And he came up, and he had no shoes on, and he walked up, and he had a big ponytail and everything, and he, uh, and he just took his shirt off up on the stage, got naked. Well, not naked, but he took his top off, and he gave me a shirt. Yeah, and so I took off mine, again, and we switched. And so I had a shirt on all night. It was a bit itchy, I'll be honest. <laughs> no offense if the guy's watching anything, but it was... Um, you know, is that a first? Is that is that a first that kind of things happened? I've gotten a lot of clothing items thrown up onto the stage, you know. Are we talking yeah. underwear? Are we talking Tom Jones? Uh, uh, yeah, I've gotten a few. I don't know what Tom Jones... Uh, he gets a lot of underwear? He used to. Right. Yes, certain type of underwear. But yeah, yeah, you know, it comes in phases. We do get a, a fair bit of underwear at certain shows, but it's, uh, <laughs> it has to be darker out in the audience, I think, you know, for the transaction to occur. One, but one of the things that's so lovely about your music, and we heard you warming up, we were at, mm. at sort of five this morning, lovely way to wake up, and you're doing a little, but it's quite, there's a kind of simplicity to it. Yeah. The ukulele is a bit like that, and your, your music has that feel to it, doesn't it? Yeah, you know, I learned how to play guitar because my dad's friend, he would bring all these uh, Cat Stevens and uh, Bob Marley, Beatles, any song that everybody knows, <clears throat> he'd pull those out and we'd all be singing along at these barbecues and stuff. And then he left and it wasn't quite as fun, so I kind of started learning how to play these chords from them. And uh, that's what it's always been for me, is just leading the sing-along or kind of getting together with friends and playing music. And so, yeah, what you saw us doing there, I mean, that's the same thing we do when nobody's watching. We kind of all get together. And the drummers is going to be playing a box called a cajon today. We figured we're doing kind of a different version of the song uh, for the yeah. morning. It's um, pretty stripped down. And the, and the thing about the album, there's lots of them. Um, are there songs to each of your children? There's certainly one for your daughter, isn't there, about Yeah, her? she's she's... She got, she's the spoiled, she's my little girl, so daddy kind of spoiled. Yeah, I wrote one for her. Uh, I call it Your Mama, and it's, uh, I forget what we call it on the record. I but think it's you call it, oh. You remind it? me of you. Remi you remind me of you, yes. And it's Your Mama Made You, uh, well, Your Daddy Made You Messy and Your Mama Made You Neat, <laughs> and that kind of thing. Yeah, it just goes back and forth about. I'm sure what lots mom of dad um, dads with daughters will completely understand the sentiment <laughs> in that song. It's yeah, lovely. probably lots of dads have done songs for their children. But then be very nice. Yes. <laughs> well, you know, they've just been with no talent. Uh, lovely to see you. Uh, yeah, in this like and you're going to perform live for us. Yeah, in that few one's actually time. that one's about my son. It's uh, it's called Radiate. It's about he slips off into this imaginary world. He's always going like this with his hands, and it's watching him. I wrote this song called Radiate. Lovely. Lovely. Well, we look forward to that. Yeah, thanks, thanks for Thanks very much for coming you. to see us. Appreciate Thank you. It. Jack's album, From Here to Now to You, is out on Monday, and he'll perform his current single, Radiate, um, right at the end of the programme. So stay with us for that. 8.58.